It's the biggest threat the world faces. At risk is the environment, wildlife and humanity itself. Because of this danger, 195 countries will begin meeting in Poland on Sunday for the UN Climate Change Conference. They reached an agreement three years ago in Paris to limit the rise in global temperatures to between 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius. Now, in Katowice, they'll try to figure out how to do that. To do this, the world economy must shift away from fossil fuels. If the Paris Agreement fails, scientists say the world can expect more extreme weather and rising sea levels. In some places, that's already happening. Higher water levels threaten an Indian island in the Bay of Bengal. Nearly half the island is already gone, and things are getting worse for its remaining 4,800 inhabitants. The UN has recruited British environmentalist and broadcaster David Attenborough to campaign for action. This is our opportunity to collectively make a difference, to have our voices heard. Together, we can send a message to the world's leaders they can't ignore to act now. From the old to the young, thousands of school students in Australia took to the streets to protest what they say is their government's lack of action on climate change. Well, I think our government needs to take more action on climate change so that um, our generation and our kids' generations and their kids can have a future that's sustainable and healthy and a planet that we haven't destroyed. But there are political divisions. US President Donald Trump intends to pull out the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases from the Paris Agreement. Campaigners say the world still has time to make a difference. They warn that failing to do so will be catastrophic. We're likely to see bigger, stronger hurricanes, more frequent hurricanes, the same with wildfires, the same with droughts, the same with floods. And whilst we've always had extreme weather events, we've also always had a bit of time to recover, to have respite, and that's the same for human beings as well as all of the wildlife. And the real danger is that climate change takes hold to such an extent that we cannot recover from each of these events before another one comes along. This two-week conference will define what actions countries will take to limit global warming and save the Earth for future generations. Asad Beg, TRT World.